Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. I am CYX, and today I present you the very special edition of sneakers I promised or teasered in my last video about the Gear 5 Luffy shoes. If you want to check out that one, you can find it in the top right corner. Without further ado, let's start. Right in front of me, I've got two uh, Puma suede. Uh, those are just for another clarification for new viewers. Puma One Piece collabs. They are special edition and limited edition. Um, I don't actually know which one is which one. One of them is Red Her Shanks and one of them is Blackbeard edition. So we will together find out which one is which. Of course, the label is somewhere down there, but I try to avoid that to get a genuine reaction to all of this. Maybe we will do a double unboxing. We've got shoelaces. They're looking like that, but we will have a closer look later. So these are the Ratter Shanks one. And this is the Blackbeard edition. And way too much paper wrapping. We will clean that up. So these are the shoes unboxed. This one is the Blackbeard shoe. Oops, if you have a closer look. Okay, that's just that's just a shame that this happened to me. I hope none of you guys got this issue. And this is the Red Hair Shanks one. So we are first having a look on the Red Hair What I wanted to say is we are keeping the Red Hair Shanks suede for later and first review the Blackbeard suede. Now let's have a look at the Puma suede Blackbeard edition. Um, I removed the Golden Berry coin on this shoe as well as on the Shanks edition. Um, yeah, if you look closely, I have, uh, you can notice a slight difference between both of these shoes. It is because of the different laces I have. On the left shoe, we have the out of the box uh, kind of lace, uh, kept in a flat shape and with no special pattern. On the right side, you can see it is in a round shape uh, and it seems it gives the impression of a rope with uh, silver tips. First, let's have a look at the left shoe. We can see the outer brown sole. It makes this version of the shoe and the Shanks edition way more uh, practical in all the wear and use compared to the uh, Monkey D. Luffy edition, which is uh, white and gray, I think. They don't, uh, this outer sole just doesn't get dirty noticeably. Um, we can see a fat center stripe. I don't know what it is called on suede shoes. A swoosh, maybe. Surrounded by yellow vibrant stripes. And we have two clouds, one big cloud and a small cloud. On the other side of the shoe, we have the same pattern. And this is from the front. We have two uh, kind of uh, materials here. We have a leather shoe top, shoe box top. And um, surrounded by, I think this is synthetic leather. From the top, we can see rectangulars with a Puma logo uh, kept in golden letters with a Jolly Roger of the Blackbeard Pirates with three different skulls. Maybe uh, Oda wants to, to uh, implicate that Blackbeard maybe has three different personalities and therefore he can hold three different devil fruits. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys know more than me. On the back side we have a 
um, Puma logo surrounded by a uh, line red color. On the inside, on the shutong, we can see the, I don't know what it is called in Japanese, yummy yummy fruit. Uh, in English it is called the dark dark fruit. The insole has a flower pattern. I'm not sure how that fits into Blackbeard character. The inner side of the shoe is uh, kept in a brown synthetic leather. I don't know if they will get worn off by everyday use. The right shoe is exactly the same. And, uh, the only differences are, well, the, the laces I used here and uh, the insole. The insole contains Blackbeard. Uh, in character with his disgusting laughing style and the Jolly Roger on the back of the shoe. Yeah, that's it for the Blackbeard shoe. I made a huge mistake here. Um, the red laces with the golden tips are the ones from the Blackbeard edition, as you can see here. The black rope laces with the silver tips are the ones coming with the shanks suite and comparing them to the out of the box blackbeard laces we can see that they are well just rope structured and a bit shinier with the tips. Now I've prepped the Puma suede shanks edition. Okay good, uh, I removed the, ber uh, the berry coin and let's have a look at the outer, outer side. We have a silver lining here and um, some flower-like patterns with rectangulars inside. I think this should represent the pattern of uh, Shanks' trousers. We have uh, the three scars on Shanks' eye. I don't remember which one. Was it the left eye? Yeah, maybe I will correct myself uh, in the video here somewhere. Um, this is the back of the shoe with a Puma logo and we have the inner side exactly the same as the outer side except the Puma logo here. Um, this is the shoe toe box. You can see the texture here. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's just matte. Yeah, I think that's the right term. Uh, let's have a look at the outer sole. The outer sole is brown. And hold on. if we compare it to the Blackbeard outer sole, it's exactly the same. The pattern is even the same. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, what else can I say to the outer soles? Oh, yeah. The only difference between this uh, left shoe and the right shoe is this uh, Puma logo on the back. Sorry. Uh, we have on the left side the Puma logo, on the, on the right side we have the Jolly Roger of the Red Hair Pirates. I think you just saw this. There is also a Wanted, a mimic of a Wanted poster, Wanted Dead or Alive Shanks with his updated bounty. We can see inside there is Shanks with his drawn sword. Is the angle right? Yeah, we can see his face from this perspective. But we can see his foot. <laughs> and on the other side, we just have rect rectangular patterns.
the last unboxing video I've planned so far. Next time it will be a vlog. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to support me. And thank you guys for the 1k plus views on the last video on my Gear 5 Luffy video. Thank you guys. Bye. See you.